Hello and welcome to this week's Lenses. I hope you've all had a lovely week. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And now for our first prayer. God of wind and waves, thank you that you meet us when we are sure of our faith, when we are battling our doubts, wherever we are today. Amen. And now over to Diana, ready for our story. Our story today takes place after the feeding of the crowd with the bread and the fish. Straight after feeding the crowd with the fish and the bread, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake. He sent the crowds home, and when everyone has left, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. He stayed there on his own until the evening. Meanwhile, the boat that the disciples were in was caught in a storm, battered by the waves far from the shore with the wind against them. Early the next morning, Jesus came walking towards them on the water. When the disciples saw him, they were absolutely terrified. They shouted out in fear, it's a ghost. But immediately Jesus called to them, be brave, it's me, don't be afraid. Peter called out in reply, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come and meet you on the water. Come, called Jesus. So Peter climbed out of the boat and began to walk across the water to Jesus. All was going well until Peter began to notice the strong wind and he got frightened. He started to sink and cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him. Why didn't you trust me? he asked Peter. When they got back into the boat and sat down, the wind died down. This made everyone in the boat worship him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. So do you think if you'd have been Peter and you'd been in that stormy sea, you would have stepped out of the boat onto the water? I think it's pretty scary. What are some of the big things, or little things even, that scare you? And when you are scared or you're in trouble... Who do you reach out to? Whose hand do you like to hold to help you and to look after you? Jesus is telling Peter that he can be that hand. He needs to trust and have faith. He needs to believe in him, that he will be there to look after him. But he's also telling us that through our prayers, he's there for us. He will help us when things are hard or when things are a bit difficult. We need to reach out. We need to pray so that we can be strong. So Lizzie is going to show you a craft today with Flo and Monty because it's um, we can't really walk on water in the same way that Jesus did in this story. But we can have a little bit of fun demonstrating something. So enjoy and uh, I'll see you soon. Wouldn't that have been amazing if we could have seen Jesus walk on water? Unfortunately, we can't walk on water. But for this week, we've designed a craft that would maybe be the next best thing. And Florence and Monty are going to show you. Ready, guys? Mm -hmm. Go on then. There we go. And, and all it is, is a bit of paint and some wallpaper. But if you can't do that at home, that's okay. Maybe you could draw a picture of someone walking across water. Sorry. Now back to Lizzie for our prayers. Thank you, Lizzie, Flo and Monty. I hope you all enjoy having a go at that activity at home. And now for our second prayer. For this prayer, you need to say, you are God over all at the end of every line. Almighty God, creator of all things, you are God over all. God in our weakness, you are God over all. God in our strength, you are God over all. God with authority, you are God over all. God in our doubts and fears, you are God over all. Almighty God, you are God over all. Amen. And now we say our family prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now our song for this week is our lighthouse song. <laughs> In my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go Questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness to show joining in with that and now for our final prayer lord jesus as we go through this week help us to step out in faith remembering who we walk with knowing that you have authority over all amen so since the weather is meant to be really lovely and sunny this coming week maybe you can get out your paddling pools and swimming pools and see if you can manage to walk on water Please send us pictures of anything that you get up to. We'd love to see them. The blessings of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. <laughs>